Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. We're going to talk about Bitcoin news today and we're going to look at a Bitcoin rallied 6,400% the last time this happened. So if you got 6,400% on your investment in a very short period of time, how would that change your life? You know, think about what money you could put into it and and maybe you put in $100. But when $100 goes up 6,400%, that can be life-changing money depending on your circumstances. So this could be a life-changing opportunity for you. You don't want to miss a single bit of today's video. We're going to dig into the details. Now, in today's video, we're going to look at three articles here. The first one is retail investors are rapidly accumulating Bitcoin, boosting the long-term outlook. The second article is Bitcoin prints critical golden cross as futures open interest hits record high. And then the last one is Bitcoin rallied 6,400% the last time it made this formation and it is back again. So should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash that like button. It really makes a big difference. It it helps the YouTube algorithms to know that you actually like the video. And when YouTube sees that, it actually sends more traffic to the video. So it really does make a big difference. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. And please understand, anytime you're investing into cryptocurrency, it involves substantial risk of loss. Be sure to read this entire disclaimer and really heed it. It's important. We don't want you to get hurt in a negative way. So, and when it comes to investing in Bitcoin, This is not financial advice, but it is historical background that you should understand for your investment purposes. If you invested $1,000 in Bitcoin and three years later sold it, if you invested on January 1st, 2017, and then sold it just before the beginning of 2020, your investment would have been worth $7,206. So in those three years, you made seven times your money. I don't know of anything out there where in three years you could make seven times your money, but here's the key. It took three years. A lot of people are very impatient, and so you want to take at least a three-year outlook when it comes to cryptocurrency. Don't don't be trying to do something that's so short-term that you miss out on the big picture. So today, Bitcoin is trading at $9,732. Right now, it is 6.55 a.m. Central Standard Time on May 20th, 2020. So retail investors are rapidly accumulating Bitcoin, boosting the long-term outlook. So what's going on here? According to crypto analytics firm Glassnode, co-founder and CTO Raphael The number of Bitcoin addresses holding at least 0.1 Bitcoin. So, you know, that's somewhere around, based on today's price, that would be around $970 worth of Bitcoin. And so the number of addresses with $900, uh, $1,000 worth of Bitcoin has risen 14% over the last 12 months. Now that is $900 or more. So it includes all of those wallets that hold billions of dollars, but uh, it also includes the, the huge number of addresses that hold smaller amounts. In fact, there were over 200,000 addresses since the start of the year uh, that now hold $1,000 worth of Bitcoin or more. Um, And so that's just huge, huge. I mean, it's 14% growth over the last 12 months and over 200,000 since January 1. There are now more than 3 million Bitcoin addresses holding at least 0.1 Bitcoin, current value $975 USD. 
That's 14% more addresses than one year ago today. Um, and so here's a chart that shows you the growth of addresses holding 0.1 Bitcoin. And you can see that it's just been on a constant upsurge. And what that indicates to us is, is that more and more and more people are getting involved in Bitcoin. We're seeing a larger and larger influx in the number of people that have addresses with $1,000 or more in Bitcoin, $975 in Bitcoin. Now, some of the addresses accumulating are likely large players. I kind of mentioned that earlier. But the rapid uptick in this metric signals strong retail interest in Bitcoin. The next article, Bitcoin prints critical golden cross as futures open interest hits record high. So Bitcoin experiences a golden cross for the first time since February 2020. The bullish indicator surfaced as open interest for CME futures hits a record high. Nevertheless, the cryptocurrency continues to hover below $10,000 while eyeing a price breakout. Now, on Wednesday, Bitcoin printed what is known in technical analysis as a golden cross. The technical indicator occurs when the 50-day moving average crosses over its 200-day moving average. Its occurrence on a Bitcoin chart has inspired larger bull runs. For instance, the cryptocurrency rallied more than 150% uh, after experiencing a golden cross last year, April 23rd, 2019. And so... Let me show you the golden cross that they're talking about. So this is this is the current Bitcoin chart. You can see that it goes from uh, March 28th, 2020, all the way to right now, which is March 20, May 20th, 2020. And this yellow line is the 200-day moving average, and this blue line is the 50-day moving average. And so you can see how this. 50-day moving average has been following the trend as Bitcoin has been going up. And the 200-day moving average is much, much slower. It takes much smaller movements um, over the same periods of time. But the two have crossed. Now, this has only happened a few times in the history of Bitcoin. I, I, I don't remember the exact number, but it's somewhere around like five or six or eight times in the last 10 years that we've actually seen a golden cross. And historically, most of the time when you see a golden cross, it does have a significant impact on the price of Bitcoin. Now, here's one exception, and it actually happened this year. On February 17th, we also had a golden cross. Bitcoin had been going up since the beginning of the year. We had seen a strong bull run, and we saw a golden cross happen right there on February 18th. Um, and as it went up, the only thing that stopped that golden cross was that severe crash that affected all assets, all stocks, you know, the whole, the whole financial industry crashed on March 12th, 2020. And that crash brought Bitcoin through uh, what's called a death cross. Um, now this happened a couple of weeks afterwards. But a death cross is just the opposite of a golden cross. A death cross is the foreboding of a market in a downtrend. Um, and a golden cross is, uh, uh, tends to, well, it happens only when a market is heading up, but it indicates that there's a strong enough momentum that you should expect to see it carry out that momentum for a period of time. So that's kind of what a, that is what a golden cross is. And we're going to look a little bit more in depth into it. The cryptocurrency fell victim to a broader market sell-off a month later caused by fears of fast-spreading coronavirus pandemic. Bitcoin's second golden cross formation this year therefore appears like it's homecoming to the pre-March bullish bias and the data proves it. So a rising open interest shows that money flows into the Bitcoin derivatives are increasing. It also means that the market participants are watching the underlying spot market closely, verifying that the existing market trend is gaining momentum or is likely to sustain. And so not only are we seeing a strong bullish cross, I mean a strong golden cross that is a bullish indicator, 
But when you look at these open interests, uh, which is people who have a, a uh, futures contract in Bitcoin, you can see this sudden surge right here over the last few weeks. And that, that giant surge, that parabolic surge, is indicating that institutions are interested and in, are investing in Bitcoin. So Bitcoin traders treat open interest in derivative markets as a metric to gauge Wall Street's involvement in the cryptocurrency space. And when they say Wall Street's involvement, they're really talking about institution and institutional money. Institutional investors treat Bitcoin futures as a safer and more regulated way to speculate on its underlying spot market. The analysts also noted that the CME's impressive statistics build a bullish case for Bitcoin moving forward. And so this, given that this many people are actually holding futures contracts um, and those future contracts are, are long contracts, meaning they're expecting, they're, they're making a bet, a financial bet that the price of Bitcoin is going up. And so we're suddenly seeing a lot of institutions uh, actually making that bet. In fact, right in here is the number is 5,000. And so you can see that in the last two months or so, last month or so, um, these numbers have actually doubled their historical highs as we're, or, you know, not quite the historical high. The historical high was at 6,000. And this is pretty close to 6,000. And so that shows a very strong increase um, in people holding contracts on the, on the CME futures market. And that is good news if you're looking for Bitcoin to increase in price. The last piece of news I got for you is Bitcoin rallied 6,400% the last time it made this formation and that formation is back again. So he pointed to a crucial and rare technical formation that marked the start of Bitcoin's last macro bull trend, which brought Bitcoin from $200 to $20,000. And so the difference between $200 and $20,000 is 100 times your money. Imagine what that would do for your lifestyle. If you could take a hundred dollars or if you put in a thousand dollars a hundred times your money means that thousand dollars is now one hundred thousand dollars and so i don't know if history will repeat itself history does not always repeat itself but this is definitely a positive indication so the golden cross Actually, let me get to what this indicator is that he's actually talking about, and then I'll go back up to this information up here. So the Bitcoin daily chart for the first time during the 2015 lows, there was a golden cross, and then a death cross, and then a golden cross. So I just showed you that sequence back here when we were looking at, here was the golden cross, here's the death cross, and then here's a second golden cross. And so this first golden cross happened February 18th, the death cross happened on March 25th, and then the golden cross that just happened happened on May 20th. So all of those are in about a 100-day time period. Not quite, um, but this sequence is the same sequence that occurred within a span of 100 days when Bitcoin rallied 6,400%, um, and that was what happened back in 2015 when it went from $200 to $20,000. For the second time at 2020 lows, the sequence has again occurred within about 100 days. So let's take a look at some of these numbers here because these are actually very interesting. The Golden Cross is a bullish in and of itself. Golden Crosses, as I analyzed, have historically led to massive gains for Bitcoin. So here are some of the golden crosses. It happened on February 8th, 2012. Bitcoin was selling at $5.60 and rallied all the way to $1,158. That was a 20,578% gain. Then on October 25th, 2015, we had another golden cross. Bitcoin went from $289 to $19,000. $765 dollars 
and that was a 6,739% gain. And then another Golden Cross happened last year, one year ago, on April 23rd, 2019, and Bitcoin went from $5,500 all the way to $13,800 for a 150% gain. And then the February 17th, 2020 Golden Cross He's uh, basically saying it was at $9,933 there, and we don't know what the top of it is, but he's, he's basically saying he's taking his numbers starting here, and, we're, and he's looking for the top, the peak that's going to happen sometime down in the future past the second Golden Cross. So I thought that was interesting that how he's drawing that out. Now, there have been a couple of fakeouts. The first fakeout was July 13th, 2015. Um, interesting. July 13th, 2015, it went from 293 to 198. So it actually lost money on that one. And then July 10th, 2014, it went from $615 down to 217. And so that was a 64% loss. And so not all golden crosses have been bullish, but overall, not only have they been bullish, but they've been extremely bullish in terms of the return it's given its investors. But again, as I mentioned early on in the video, um, be sure to think in terms of, of being a longer term investor. If you look through the data of Bitcoin and the price history of Bitcoin, there is not a time in the last 10 years where you could have bought and held your Bitcoin for three years and lost money. Every time you bought and held Bitcoin for three years or longer, you made money on it. And so these are just some of the numbers. The worst in this case, you actually made 18% on your money over that three-year period. And making 18% between 2014 and 2016 really isn't too bad. If you had had it in the stock market um, and you were getting the S&P 500 index, that tracks right around 6 and 7% during these three years. And so you would have ended up really close to that same 18% if you had invested in your average stocks and were able to get an average return from your stock investments. So, how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions? Do you have any thoughts? Do you disagree with something I said? I'd love to hear your polite disagreements in the comments below. In the meantime, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and hodl. And do me a favor. Have a fantastic day.